Hey guys, and welcome to Petrolped. Now behind me, there is an Audi R8 V10 Performance, thanks to Audi UK. Now, I've been very lucky to have driven quite a few supercars and ogled at many from afar, but I've never had one for more than a day. That is mine for the next week. And I thought I'd just see just what it's like to run a supercar as your daily. I'm actually on my way up to Wales for a meeting and then from there I need to go to Alton Park for a test day tomorrow for the Enduro Car Series and I thought well I've got one of these I may as well go in a supercar. Do you want to come along for the ride? So the first challenge is a very simple one. I need to pack. And there, that's my kit. Now, all I've got, well, actually I'm going reasonably heavily packed. Uh, this is my race kit. So I've actually got a helmet, race suit, boots, and everything in there. And then I've got this small overnight bag. So that should fit maybe in the little front seat. So I've got my key and I just open the car, pop the front bonnet. Let's see. So there you go. So this is your boot in an R8. So let's try this baby. <sighs> right now I'm sure if I took the helmet out of that and jiggle things around I could fit the bulk of that bag in there but that ain't going in without some fancy work. Having said that this <sighs> that's perfect. So it's not tiny but if you've got a really big bag anything bigger than a little kind of overnight bag like that you're gonna struggle getting it in the front seats in the front boot so what we're gonna do let me just check out this interior look oh man alive so this is the uh, carbon black edition uh, r8 and it is a particularly beautiful car so i think the secondary luggage compartment is super super special cabin this is now i am going to be doing a full review of this car have no fear it will be dropping on the channel at some point not sure whether it will be before or after this video but the most important thing we need to do is push this magic red button and <laughs> oh yeah i think i can live with that for the journey. So uh, let's just program the sat nav in. Very familiar Audi cockpit for me. Plug the um, sat nav in and uh, work out how far we gotta go. Okay, so now we are on our way. A Couple of little things I'm gonna do with this video. First things first is I have reset the trip so that we can try and get an understanding of the fuel costs of running a V10 supercar. I don't think that's gonna be pretty. Ah, 620 horsepower has to come from somewhere. The other thing to say is, inside here, as an Audi owner and a performance Audi owner, it is hugely, hugely familiar. That view is, I mean, the steering wheel has a few extra dials and buttons and the start-stop button on there and that very cool checkered flaggy button, which we might play with later. But it is standard Audi fare in here, which makes it hugely approachable. It might cause me a little bit of a problem because one of the questions I might have to ask in my review is, is this car special enough? Does it differentiate itself enough from a standard Audi? I'm not sure yet. Um, we have 217 miles actually to go um, and a beautiful, beautiful day. Well, we are just over an hour into our journey. I've done 56 miles, most pretty much all of that um, dual carriageway. And I'm averaging 23.3 miles per gallon, which I actually don't think is that bad. Now that was assisted by, on the M27, there's a big long stretch of 50 mile an hour uh, restricted road work. So, you know, I'm not exactly pushing on, but it's not bad, 23. I do, however, think that number's gonna degrade quite a lot when I hit the loud pedal because... The loud pedal in this car is quite loud. Now the car has Audi's Drive Select program and I have to admit up until now I have been just driving around in dynamic which is basically everything set to max. I'm very good it is too but I've just put it to comfort mode because I've got this big long stretch of dual carriageway and I must say the ride comfort considering I'm in a supercar is really really good. 
it's just smooth and compliant and comfortable, not just a clever name, and you can kind of sit here and munch miles. Now, the seats in this car are very supportive, but they are pretty hard, um, and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to get a numbum at some point, but the comfort setting in the Drive Select program, really good. It's not as noisy as I thought it would be. There's no big kind of overrun park barks and crackles and pops and things, which I know many of you will like, but man, does that V10 sound good. First time I've actually really spent... Your red line's at eight and a half thousand RPM. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we are gonna get some fuel. I think I've pulled into the most busy fuel stop in the universe. Um, hopefully we've got super unleaded fuel. That's one of your big challenges when you've got one of these, is you need to put uh, 97 or 99 ron fuel in it. Uh, so pretty much let it rip it. Well, we'll stay here, I think. Could be a long wait, I think. Ouch. <laughs> that, that super unleaded fuel is up one pound thirty-eight a litre or something. Uh, so yeah, it's a big old tank. This. <laughs> uh, just a quick note, by the way, a full tank in this car will give you a range of three hundred and thirty miles. Which isn't too bad. It's a big tank. <laughs> Probably has to be really. Well, I've been in the car now for four hours, and I'm happy to report. My num bum has appeared. <laughs> yes, I have a num bum, but I'm rapidly forgetting about my num bum because of these epic, epic roads and this truly epic sports car. This thing is magnificent. Brakes are absolutely stellar on this thing. But, uh, this road is just wicked. It's been going on like this for miles. <laughs> so yeah, I think top tip would be, if you're gonna go on a long journey in one of these, is you're gonna get a num bum about three hours 45 if your bum profile is like mine but try and find a route that doesn't include dual carriageway and motorway and lots of lovely B and A roads because it's cars just absolutely mega you do have to be really careful because clearly it's a stupidly fast car this you, 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 you can't you can't rev it out in the gears you can't that's the big challenge with a supercar on a public road is they're kind of, I won't use the phrase all show, no go, but you can't possibly use all the go. It's just, it's just not legally and safely possible. So you'd almost, that's where a kind of lower powered kind of little hatch, like a, a Fiesta ST or my Mini would be brilliant down the road like that, because you can really rev it out and feel like you're giving the car a good thrashing. I honestly don't think it's possible to give a supercar a thrashing on the public road. It's good fun trying, mate. Right, I am about to arrive at the destination for my meeting in Wales. I've been in the car four and a half hours, done 223 miles. My average MPG is 19.9. It's clearly dipped a bit because I've had lots of B roads to have a lovely time on. <laughs> But yes, yeah, so uh, let's have this meeting and then I've got to then drive from here up to uh, Middlewich kind of area, not that far from Alton Park to stay with my big brother this evening. Now that, that was a much longer meeting than I had planned. However, the outcome of the meeting is uber uber cool perhaps the most exciting thing that's ever happened to me but i cannot tell you about it yet but i will eventually i know that's very cryptic but you'll just have to bear with me now i am now on my way to my big brother's house 
uh, 72 miles away. Uh, hopefully it won't take me that long because I'm in a supercar. Um, and um, the plan was originally I was going to go out for a beer with my brother and have some food. Uh, basically, this is my dinner. I have a Ginster's pasty, um, but um, I'm going to get my head down and concentrate and get to my brother's house uh, ASAP so that I can enjoy that with him. <laughs> yes, not too much though because I'm driving a racing car tomorrow morning. Happy to report that in the rain, this car isn't too scary. Now it's helped out by Quattro four wheel drive, obviously, but I did think it might be a little bit intimidating, but it's really, really not. This car is so easy to drive. In fact, maybe it's too easy to drive. It kind of lulls you into a false sense of security. I could pull out and stick my foot into the carpet to go past the car in front, but uh, you do have to be aware that you have a huge amount of horsepower underneath your right foot, but yes, I guess this is Welsh weather for me. Horrible. Rainbow! We have a rainbow! I don't think I've ever managed to capture a rainbow on Petrobed before. This could be a first. Good morning, people. I had a good night's sleep, even though I got to my brother's house a lot later than planned. I did take him out in the car. I think he liked it a lot. I really wanted to film it, but by the time I got here and we got out, it was a bit dark and the cameras just wouldn't have picked anything up. So I have a very short drive to Alton Park. It is only 11 miles from my brother's house to Alton Park, which is very cool. Which is why I stay here when I come up to uh, race Alton. Um, and I have no ill effect from having spent well over six hours in this car yesterday. Um, all is good. Um, su such a comfortable place to be. Uh, that was the, the one thing I thought, I wonder what it's like when you have a really, really long trip in a supercar. Well, happy to report, apart from a numb bum after about three and a half hours yesterday, uh, just a really relaxing place. Would I have got to the destination more relaxed and refreshed had I been in, let's say, my S4 or a kind of normal car? Probably. This is quite firm and hardcore, but it's not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. And actually, I'm kind of falling for it. I love this car. <laughs> so I'm actually come up behind Alex and Francois uh, on our way to Alton Park. So there is the little uh, blue KA up in front. I'm massively low on fuel, by the way. This car went from 50 miles to 30 miles of range in a heartbeat. <laughs> I might have to work out where the hell I'm going to get some go-go juice, but oh well, that's life. Here we go, Alton Park, our destination and the reason for this little road trip, well, the second reason for the road trip. Speed bumps aren't too bad in this, it doesn't have a nose lift, but the front end isn't too stupidly low, you just have to be mindful of them. Okay guys, now. First of all, Audi UK, I am not taking this car on a track day, but we have to do a sighting lap. Um, and uh, we thought, why not? This is just at low speed. Now, Francois is my teammate from Donington. You remember Ooh. him, guys? <laughs> so you've never been round Alton Park before? Never. never. <laughs> it's a mega, mega circuit. So we're going to basically talk round the circuit just to get a feel for it. It's at, at slow speeds. We have to have a crash helmet on, but we're not doing anything really mega, and actually I've only got 30 miles of fuel anyway, so I ain't gonna be going very quick. So you come come down here, and this is quite a quick quick corner, actually. This one, so this is quite, uh, in the wet, gets really slippy online, so if it's raining, you wanna be just in the middle, kind of like here for braking, because there's slippy as a slippy thing. <laughs> you gotta have a bit of full full <laughs> bring it out here and not give it the full beans okay so we're going out for a little bit of wet running there is a lamborghini huracan gt3 car going round so i need to keep an eye out in the back for that Here we go.
Brilliant test day. I'm not staying for the full day because I need to drive all the way back. I've had a couple of wet sessions, a couple of dry sessions in the car. Times are on par with Alex. I'm really chuffed with that. Francois is out at the moment. So all looks good for Alt Park in a couple of weeks' time. So I'm going to get back in the R8 and drive home. <laughs> Bummer. Well, what a brilliant day that was. Really chuffed we got both wet and dry running. The car, the guys have made a few tweaks to the set up and we're running slightly different tire pressures certainly since the last time i drove the car night and day super excited now for the race Alton in just a few weeks time um, in terms of journey i have about 230 miles to go i've been in the car actually about 20 minutes about 230 miles to go um I did a very quick splash and dash uh, to get some fuel at Alton because I was so low I just put 20 quid in from the pump at Alton Park itself. So I will need to stop to get some fuel because I only have 70 miles left in the tank. Uh... Oh my God. I am now gonna have a rant. I'm at Stafford Services, okay? And I want you to guess how much, oh, does sound good how much I just paid to recognize them for super unleaded, okay? So I nearly filled up the car at Alton Park, but at Alton Park, super unleaded was 147 a litre, and that made my eyes water, I thought, I know. And then on the way from Alton Park to the motorway, I didn't actually drive past a garage. So I had no choice but to stop at the motorway services, which I know is the worst place known to mankind to basically fill your car up. Ready for this? One pound 63 a litre. One pound 63? Jeez. So I, I, I refused to put more than 50 quid in. I, I, what I'll, I'm gonna basically wait till I get near home and put some more fuel in somewhere. 163 and you can't you've got to put super leaded in this even though even the normal petrol was like 148 Stafford services you are ripping off motorists you are absolutely exploiting people because they're on the motorway and you know they have to fill up and there is no justification for it rant over 163 what well, we are so nearly home and regular viewers to the channel will recognize where we are because we're about to go up the petrol ped hill climb a fitting way to finish this video asking the question can you live with a supercar oh a BAC mono <laughs> here we go let's do the hill climb first shall we so yeah so <clears throat> What do I think? Well, first things first, um, this is a, it is a very comfortable place to be. However, I have been in the car today for four hours and 20 minutes. My right leg and my bum are numb and have been so for a while. That tends to happen after about three and a half hours, but you can fix that by stopping and having a coffee and, and, and going and chilling out somewhere. Um, I've done 225 miles today, averaged 21.9 miles per gallon, but my total road trip that I've done has been 617 miles, and I've averaged 19.6 miles per gallon, which I don't think is too bad. Um, in terms of boot space and practicality, 
the boot isn't very big. I've got my race bag in the car, so I would be stuffed if I wanted to take someone with me for, uh, you know, company. Um, so, you know, they aren't the most practical cars to do a long journey. And this is a particularly um, approachable supercar. Driving it in the rain wasn't intimidating. Driving it quickly in the rain wasn't intimidating. It's just got so much grip and so much traction out of the corners thanks to its quattro four-wheel drive system. It is, however, mighty fast. Like, really, really quick. Almost too quick for the public road. You have to be so careful how fast you're going. Uh, but I've really, really enjoyed it. Now, this isn't my review. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel to keep an eye out for my review. There's so much tech and so much cool stuff to talk about in this car. It needs a separate video for that, but I just wanted to take on my first long road trip in a supercar, and it's been a really interesting experience. I have to say thank you to Audi UK massively. Um, when I said, look, I've got this test there, Alton, and I thought I'd quite like to try out living with a supercar. They said, yeah, no worries, you can have an R8 performance. So huge thanks to them uh, and the support they give to the channel. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. And from the, well, numb, numb right bum cheek, and uh, but yeah, from the stunning, beautiful cabin of the Audi R8 Performance Carbon Black Edition. I'll see you on the next film, guys. I'm nearly home now, but you take care. Drive safe.